How you doing, YouTube? Matt with Massive Bear Reviews, back to get another review. And, uh, it's pumpkin ale time in the form of Avery Brewing's Rumpkin. 2015 Rumpkin. Um, I laugh after the pumpkin ale statement because there's something a little bit different than your atypical pumpkin ale. Then it's 18% alcohol. Um, I had this last year. It was one of my favorite beers of last year. Um, and one of my favorite beers that come out of Avery's Barrel Age program. Um, a little bit different, uh, not different, but cool thing about this is it's super fresh. It's, um, today is the 22nd. This is bottled September 9th. So you're talking 13 days, okay? This is a beer I typically tell most people, sit on it. Let it sit for a bit. Let it kind of mellow out or meld or kind of just, you know, become a bit more cohesive, but I was lucky enough to have Avery send me not one, but two of these, so I had the bright idea of going, hmm, let's drink one immediately, because I just opened the package about an hour ago, long enough to give this a little bit of a chill, um, get one super fresh and wait, I don't know how long, but I'm going to wait a few months at least, I'm trying to, going to try to wait six, and um, three to six months, let's say that way, and see, and kind of compare, uh, do a review now, do a review later, and see what time um, does to this beer. So that's going to be pretty fun, for me, at least. Uh, as far as what it says in the bottle, AV Brewing Company, Annual Barrel Series, Batch Number 5, Rumpkin, Ale Brewed with Pumpkin and Spices, Aged in Rum Barrels. 18% uh, alcohol by volume, always a little bit different ABV um, from year to year. Bottled September 9, 2015. Uh, brewed and bottled by Avery Brew Company of Boulder, Colorado. You wonder what it would, would happen if a monstrous pumpkin ale, plump full of spices, spicy gordiness, were aged in fine fresh rum barrels to add suggestions of delicate oak and candied molasses. Rumpkin is what happened. Brewed with Rocky Mountain water, malted barley, pumpkin, nutmeg, cinnamon, ginger, allspice, hops, and yeast. And that would be it. They're telling me to use more of, eh, you know, a little vertical kind of tulip. I'm using this little pro pig, little glass that my buddy got me today. So, yeah. Yeah. Label-wise, it's awesome. I love Avery's labels um, from this, the Barrel H series, um, to their uh, B series. The whole nine, I think they really knock it out of the park. So, yeah. The foil's always a nice touch. So, let's see what this 18% monster has to offer. Why am I trying to pick the foil off? That's a bottle opener for. So, rum. There's rum involved. Uh, this is a, yeah, this is a monster of a beer. A lot lighter than what I remember. I remember having one of these probably about, hmm, I want to say it and the head's gone already. I can't even talk about it. Uh, had one of these probably, I want to say, about four or five months ago, and it was considerably darker than it, what is now. Um, their what head was on there was about a quarter, maybe half finger ahead. Um, khaki in color, and uh, it wasn't all that creamy because it didn't have time to kind of stick around. It just kind of just fizzled away into nothing, as you can see right now. I'll give you a little idea of what the head looks like a little bit better. And like I said, boom, gone. Not really going to stick around all that much has this nice, rich, deep, murky kind of apple cider, apple cider vinegar kind of color going on on there. Nice reddish brown with a tint of like a honey color to it. So yeah, they say it's an, a pumpkin ale. I'm assuming it's an old ale because of high ABV on it. Um, it's an old ale uh, base uh, with a ton of pumpkin, ton of spice, and then you got that rum going on. So let's see what kind of nose we can get out of this sucker. There is a decent amount of pumpkin spice in there. And you're talking about 18%. And you, you're you talking about a rum barrel aged beer. You figure it would just be rum and booze. But you, I'm getting a nice amount of delicate pumpkin spice out of it. Which is kind of fucking bizarre. Because of the high BV that it is. You're getting that pumpkin spice. You're, I feel like you're getting actually a little bit of a gordiness out of it. Um... And you're getting a nice, what I construe as like a caramel, super caramel malt. You are getting a bit of rum, a sweet. I like rum to me almost smells like a, um, uh, or taste and smells like a sweet butteriness. So you're getting some of that rum from there. And you are getting a booze, but the booze isn't burning. It's more just like that, um, that isopropyl kind of 
evaporation going on. It's you can tell that there's alcohol being evaporated in your in your nasal cavity. It's not like it's actual burning it, but you can feel it. It's just kind of like drying out the inside of your nasal cavity without the actual burn air, which is kind of interesting because it is barrel aged and it's super high in ABV. ABV. So, yeah, it smells like a pumpkin beer with rum. It doesn't smell like 18. It smells plus 10. It doesn't smell like 18, so. I mean, she looks fantastic. She smells super fucking cool. Um, let's see what she tastes like. Cheers. Definitely more booze in the mouth than there is in the nose. You're getting a burn there, but it's not overly harsh. I mean, it's burning. Don't get me wrong. You're talking about a fresh 13-day fresh 18% high ABV beer. Spent some time in barrels, so it did have some time to mellow on itself on its own before it got bottled, but it is boozy. But I think when you dip your toe into this kind of water, you're fucking expecting a little bit of booze. Nice mouthfeel to it. I feel like you are getting a little bit of a Roasty, toasty, little gourdness out of there from that pumpkin. You are getting spices. Ginger, not so much. Nutmeg, cinnamon, yes. A little bit of clove, but it's not super in your face. Definitely getting a nice tanniny, oak tan in there. Super non-super, or non-negative, in a very super awesome kind of way. That oak in there is really nice. Almost like a semi toasted oak it's not charred but it's not super fresh somewhere in between like a freshly kind of shaven kind of oak out of it and that rum is there i mean you're not going to mistake it for any other booze yeah this is just a killer beer all around i mean not only does it have legs for days which you'd expect at that kind of AV, abv it's so dense the mouthfeel feels not as dense as the actual beer is if that makes any fucking sense you can see actually when it, it's running down it separates and runs down you're not gonna be able to catch it on camera but it has this multi-level density to it. it's not actually like okay it has legs it's like you can actually see it's like a beveled kind of legs to it to where it's like dripping down but almost like a very thin molasses but it doesn't really come off that way in your mouth so it has this kind of super density to it but it comes off at a nice medium body which you'd want a pumpkin ale to do mm. yeah here's the problem with this beer this is the biggest problem is that it doesn't drink like 18 percent yes you can tell it's boozy yes you can tell you're in danger if you were to drink a bunch of these or maybe even just one of them but it's not like um i'm let's i'm by myself tonight nobody else is here and I will have no issues getting through this bottle by myself. I can't say that for a lot of beers 15% and higher. This I actually can. Give me a little bit of heartburn, but I am also very susceptible to heartburn. But yeah, absolutely fantastic beer. Um, delicious. Like I said, said it last year. I believe I, I'm almost positive. I, ever, I know I reviewed it. What am I saying? Uh, loved it last year. Like it this year. Um, I do think there's more flavors to be hashed out from it. I think time is going to um, make it a bit more um, balanced, but also I think there's some flavors that are going to come out with time. So it's going to be super fun to give this a whirl a few months down the road and kind of see how she changes. Um, so it's going to be a fun little deal. Um, so I'm going to rate it now, uh, what it is right now. I'm going to give it a 94 right now um like i said it is quintessential the pumpkin ale of all pumpkin ales um for me um i mean it's kind of hard to put it in the same category as a lot of other pumpkin ales because you know you have base pumpkin ales that are actually like four to six percent and you have this which is 18 percent, and there's all these beers in between but if we're gonna lump them into one big hole because we're not fucking bjcp judges or whatever the fuck you want to call it it's my favorite of the bunch um so I'm going to give it a 94 overall with room to grow, which is kind of scary. Um, and value and availability. Um, uh, like I said, I'm not sure what this year's version is going to go for, but based off of last year, 
Availability is kind of okay. I, I actually could pick these up. I could pick one of these up still today from a bar in my area. Again, bar, you're going to pay a premium for it, but um, you can still pick them up. So I'm going to give it an availability of an 8, um, even though it's one of their like more rare one-off versions. Um, uh, value, they are a bit pricey. Um, in my area, you're usually looking right around $17 for a bottle. But you're talking about a rum barrel age, 18% beer. It's $17 a bottle. It's definitely, it's not a novelty beer, but it's a treat beer. So it's something that you know you're going to spend a couple bucks on. So I'm going to give you a value of a 6 to 7. Just because it is a bit high. But you understand where that price point is coming from. Even though you wish it was a little bit lower. Um, so yeah, a 94 overall. Um, decent availability for the kind of beer it is. In okay value. But it, it, again, it's it's your Dogfish Head 120. It's 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 that kind of beer to where it's like, okay, you know, you're spending that double digits on 12 ounces, and you understand why. So there you go. If you like what we like this, honestly, if you like rum and pumpkins, because there's really no beer like this, nothing that really comes close to this as far as style. So if you like rum, and you want a beer that tastes has a big rum base or same thing with pumpkins or pumpkin spice this is your boy there you go another review in the books hopefully you guys enjoyed the review uh, if you did or you didn't or somewhere in between please leave a comment in the comment section below and like subscribe and all that fun fun stuff if you want to check us out anywhere else on the internet can facebook twitter instagram untapped massive beers and all four of those places and yeah another review down so hopefully you guys enjoyed the review hopefully you're enjoying a quintessential pumpkin beer and uh, hope to see you next time. Cheers.